go ahead and get started. I've got Carol Scott with me here. She's from NASA's Commercial Crew Program. She is the Technical Integration Manager here supporting SpaceX at Pad A. Uh, so I'll give her the opportunity to talk to you a little bit about what they're doing with uh, SpaceX for NASA's Commercial Crew Program, the work they've done here at the Pad, and she'll be able to answer any of your questions. Right, thanks you guys for coming out. Um, I know this is a really exciting day to come out here and see all the um, things that NASA and its commercial partners have to offer, you know, of what we're doing. So, as Stephanie said, I'm with the Commercial Crew Program, and um, we have two partners, you know, that we're working with to go certify their rockets that we can put four astronauts on and take them up to the space station. And then, um, you the way that they do everything is with the amount um, with a lot of flexibility and so I would not discount you know any type of commercial launches going from this pad but this one you know since it was able to support big rockets like Apollo and shuttle it's obviously going to be the one that they're using for heavy they, they don't have another facility to go use for heavy um, if you were, were any of you out here like last November about a year ago or been out here yes. you know in a year a couple of you if you had been out here you would have seen um, probably the pad structure would be you would recognize that but there are a lot of changes that SpaceX has done to it in the past year so for example the hangar over here the SpaceX hangar they started building that um, I think they started it in last November and um, it's near complete it's getting ready for um, what it's called the certificate of occupancy where they can actually start um, you know doing office work if right now they can go do processing work in there so um, that's a big deal because this is where all the assembly starts of trying to put your first stage second stage together and then they integrate dragon on top of that um, there in that facility and the way they're going to do all that um, way they do their rocket is they put all that pieces on a transporter erector and if you look at the pad you see this kind of grayish structure that's right out here on the pad that is the months worth of welding. It's a big um, structure where they actually built it in pieces and three pieces and they brought the three pieces in here into the hangar and then they welded it all together and uh, they rolled it out for the first time at the end of October and um, they rolled it up to the pad and then later in November did an actual lift of it and they're going to do a second lift with it here at the end of this week. Um, they've not done a lift yet with um, any type of a test article that will be coming soon here um, when they're ready to go do that. So um, they've made other significant modifications. Um, they've kind of redone the whole interior, their um, environmental control system, and that's what puts together um, or gives you the air that you need to have for your payloads. Um, they've done a lot of work on that. They have redone uh, the water tower and the water system. Uh, SpaceX is very, very environmental conscious. And so one of the things that they want is to have um, a lot of sound suppression for their rocket. And, um, and it will be, you know, the sound suppression uh, margin that they're having um, will be even, you know, significantly quieter than um, what they would have had for shuttle. Now, it doesn't mean the rocket's going to be quiet. You know, as the rocket's lifting up, you're 